So the big problem with normal screenwriting software is that it doesn't allow you to do non-linear stories. Your stories have to run from beginning to end. So we created Screenplay in order to create non-linear branching stories, which is what we need in order to create these adventure games. The markup and hotkey system within Screenplay allows the writer to quickly change between decisions, consequences, branches. The complex branching technology behind the scenes is transparent, keeping writers focused on writing and being creative. Gameplay mode allows you to play through your script as if it were an interactive choose-your-own-adventure novel. You read your story and simply click to make choices as you go. This is extremely useful for getting to kind of play test the game before it gets made. So one of the challenges of writing a very complex interactive screenplay is that you have lots of branches of dialogue. And when you go into a recording session, you need to know how you're gonna record all those lines and keep track of them. What it'll do is it'll generate cue sheets for both your director and your actors for the day of recording to make sure that you keep track of every line of dialogue and that it gets recorded properly. Now that you've got all your voiceover back into screenplay, you can check the continuity of your performance. If you find something that's not working, you can easily swap it out for an alternate take. The biggest advantage to screenplay is that it allows us to find and fix any problems there may be before going into production. After a chapter has been completed and exported out of screenplay, everything I need to get started is ready for me in Storyteller. All of the best takes of dialogue are automatically exported and processed. The actors and locations are brought in and it creates all of the individual cinematic sequences I need to get started. The game logic and player choices from screenplay are also automatically brought into Storyteller and put into our graph editor. The first step of the process is to block a scene. I can use the top-down blocking mode to quickly place my actors on the digital set and keyframe them. Then I can easily drag and drop what I need from the animation library to animate my actors. They could be full body animations like walks or sit down or that kind of idle, uh, which are commonly used. And those animations can be used and reused by the cinematics team. Uh, we also build specific animations for complex sequences like action or fight scenes. This lets us reuse animations where it makes sense, but then mix it up with unique animations when needed. You belong to us. Covering a scene in Storyteller is very simple. I use my work camera and the viewer to fly around and find an angle that I like. Shortcut keys allow me to create new camera angles quickly. I create camera markers to switch between the cameras, and I can then adjust the timing of the performances and cameras until I'm happy. The tracks within the timeline allow us to keep all of our events organized, events like dialogue, animation, and sound effects. So this modular track and event-based design is great because it eliminates and reduces the amount of data that we use on the game. Keyframes allow us to adjust any bit of information in the Curves Editor. For example, I can set flat tangents to quickly ease in and out of camera movements, or manually adjust tangent handles to tweak emotional performances. I enjoy animating dialogue, but Storyteller gives us some really nice lip sync results automatically. We still have the ability to tweak results, like we can go back in and adjust timing and accents. Uh, we can replace or remove visemes that might not be right. We can do all this right inside Storyteller. We have direct control over each facial feature on a character. We can create presets using all those features, but we can also dial in individual sliders for individual attributes. So we can make our characters happy, sad. We can also dial in a wink or a squint or even a smirk if we need to. State your number. X1, A slash, 3 slash, 2 slash, 7. Predictive Modeling Trial Debriefing 147. Dr. Arnstein and myself, SPA Spiegel. People have been saying for years that predictive modeling couldn't be done. Well, today you helped me prove them all wrong. Is that it? Am I done? Not before we harvest the memory stored in the nanobots in your head. Ah, oh, Spiegel, I thought we were buddies. Extraction progress 17%. Extraction complete. Subject deceased. There's still plenty we can learn. Just start again with a new batch. Uh. 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 
have you done? You belong to us. I'm done with manpower. <laughs>